Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new series of videos. We acquired a large selection of a much, much larger collection from someone in Kentucky. And today we will begin part one. Yes, just part one of that collection. <laughs> As you'll see, this collection was so massive that we had to break it into smaller chunks. And since it was like Christmas, opening and receiving this um, major amount of Muppet stuff, that we figured for part one, let's show off all the Christmas stuff. The items you're about to see span many, many decades, but we figured we'd show you probably the oldest thing first. Here we have a Sigma animal paper mache ornament. He's extremely rare to find with his present still intact. A lot of times they've fallen apart. This animal, you can see, he's the little drummer boy. This was part of a whole line of Muppet ornaments put out by Sigma. The first line, old school paper mache. The following year, Sigma put out another line of paper mache Muppet ornaments, but this time using condensed paper mache. And this time, instead of full bodied Muppets, they were just the heads. Here we have Gonzo. Scooter, Rolf, and Fozzie. And as you can see, these even still have their tags. In 1980, Sigma classied it up a little bit and switched from paper mache to porcelain. Here we have Kermit in a wreath and Miss Piggy on a sled. We also have Scooter on his ice skates, along with Fozzie ice skating as well. And as you can see, Fozzie still has his tags. We also have Statler and Waldorf ice skating as well as Sam Eagle ice skating. Again, all with their original tags. It's interesting that Sigma would choose to go with the porcelain figures for the ice skating line. Seems like kind of a contradiction. You really wouldn't want to have something as breakable as porcelain out on the ice. In 1981, Sigma switched back to compressed paper mache for their next line of Muppet ornaments. Here we have Kermit wrapped up in a present as well as Miss Piggy on a present. While Kermit doesn't have his tags, Miss Piggy does. 1982, so the last line of Muppet Sigma Christmas ornaments. And again, they stuck with the compressed paper mache. Here we have Kermit on a rocking horse and a Miss Piggy angel. Sadly, neither of these came with their original tags. While those may be the last Sigma ornaments, the company did release other Muppet Christmas items. Here we have a Kermit and Miss Piggy tree topper. The Kermit tree topper features Kermit on a star playing his banjo, while the Miss Piggy tree topper features the divine Miss Piggy herself on a giant crescent moon. Of course, Sigma was not the only company to put out Muppet Christmas items. Here we have an ornament of Kermit coming out of a stocking, Fozzie as Santa, and Miss Piggy as Santa on a moon from Presents, a division of Hamilton Gifts. While this Kermit is not in its original packaging, as you can see, the Fozzie and Piggy are. The Kurt Adler Company also put out multiple lines of Muppet Christmas ornaments. Here we have a Santa Kermit coming down the chimney with his bag stocked full of toys, a head of Santa Kermit, as well as Kermit coming through a wreath. And of course, the yin to Kermit's yang here we have Miss Piggy coming out of a wreath. Kurt Adler also made a Fozzie ornament tied up in lights. Originally, the Kermit Santa head ornament came as a two-pack. You may be asking, how do you know it originally came as a two-pack? Well, here we have the Miss Piggy Santa head ornament still in its original packaging. The Kurt Adler Company also released a line of flat ornaments. Here we have Miss Piggy ice skating, a Merry Christmas from the whole Muppet gang with a star, and an ornament of Fozzie ice skating. This image was used on other items as well, including this Christmas stocking. And finally, we have Kermit in full Santa attire coming out of a wreath. There was another line of Kurt Adler flat ornaments that were more in the representation of the characters from the Muppet Christmas Carol. Here we have Kermit as Bob Cratchit coming out of a wreath, Miss Piggy as Emily Cratchit coming out of a wreath, Fozzie as Fozzie Wig coming out of a wreath, and Gonzo as Charles Dickens coming out of a wreath. The collection also included Fozzie and Gonzo 
in their original packages. Here we have Kermit as Bob Cratchit and Robin as Tiny Tim in an ornament that you pull and they jump around, jump around. They jump up, jump up and get down. Kurt Adler did not just produce Muppet ornaments. No, no, no. They produced Muppet Babies ornaments as well. Here we have flat Muppet Baby ornaments of Gonzo, Rolf, and Fozzie. The Muppet Babies ornaments appear to be in some sort of parade, so you could parade them around your tree. You have Gonzo with a trumpet, Fozzie with a tuba, and of course, Rolf with his piano. Maybe they're rocking around your Christmas tree. Speaking of Muppet Babies, we have more Muppet Babies ornaments. And Nesco put out a line of Muppet Babies ornaments in 1984 that were all porcelain. Their line features Baby Kermit, Baby Miss Piggy, Baby Animal, and Baby Fozzie as angels. You can see their halos and wings on the back. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like dead children or something. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Although the Fozzie and Animal definitely seem to be happy about it. Also in 1984, Inesco released a line of Muppet Babies porcelain figurines. And here we see Baby Animal ripping open his present. In 1988, Dakin put out a line of Muppet Babies ornaments, and kind of going in reverse from Sigma, this line from Dakin was wooden. The line features two Fozzies, two Gonzos, although we are missing one, a Rolf, a Miss Piggy, and a Kermit, and possibly a partridge in a pear tree as well. Here we have a 1985 Inesco Baby's First Christmas Baby Piggy on a Rocking Horse ornament. Not to be outdone, yet another company put out Muppet Baby ornaments. Carlton Cards put out a series of ornaments in the mid-90s. And here we have Baby's First Christmas ornaments featuring Baby Miss Piggy and Baby Kermit from 1993. Baby Miss Piggy is an angel in a cloud hugging a star, while Baby Kermit is sledding down a hill. Carlton Cards put out a series of Muppet ornaments in the early 90s. Here we have Miss Piggy ice skating with her dog Foo Foo, as well as Kermit dressed as Santa once more, with Robin. I actually already had these mint in the box, but it was still cool to get these for my tree. In 1998, Midwest of Cannon Falls put out their line of Muppet Christmas ornaments. The line features Miss Piggy and Kermit in a heart, Gonzo in a wreath, Animal playing the drums, and more. These ornaments have a personal story behind them. When they came out, I was in high school and I was a part-time security guard at the local convention center and they had a Christmas trade show. I walked the floor and you know, I'm always on the lookout for Muppet stuff. Anyway, of course, I see this booth that has these ornaments. And I, you know, of course, I, I have to ask, when are they gonna be available? Where are they gonna be available? Where can I get them? And they say, we don't know. They don't know when they're gonna be available. Uh, it all depends, this is how trade shows work. It all depends on what stores buy them. These are the manufacturers trying to sell their goods to stores. So. I was not going to take the chance that any stores in my area would not be buying them. So I had to have them right then and there. Well, after the convention was over, of course. So after the convention was over, I went over, talked to them again. Seeing as I was a crazed fan, they agreed to let me buy the displays. However, because they were the display models, they were not in great shape. I guess people were not very careful with them during the convention. And as such, Gonzo had a nick in his sneaker, Animal had a nick in his drum, etc. But I figured, oh well, I'll take these for now. They were about 20 bucks for all of them. So it was a great deal, even though they were kind of messed up. But I figured, okay, buy these for now. And then when Christmas comes along, I'll buy them brand new, but this way I have them, right? Well, it turns out no store near me sold these. I could not find these things anywhere. This was sort of the early days of the internet. We didn't have eBay, like we know it today, uh, it just wasn't that prevalent, right? So it wasn't like, oh, I'm just gonna go find these online. You had to go find these in a store and no store near me carried these ornaments. I don't know why, but this, these ornaments right now that I got from this collection are the mintiest, pristine versions that I've been wanting for 20 whatever plus years. The ones that are kind of busted, I still have. They're on my tree. These are for the museum. So here we have Kermit once again wearing a Santa hat, coming down the chimney with lots of presents, this time with Rizzo, Miss Piggy wearing a Santa outfit, on top of a bunch of presents, all labeled for her. Hmm. Kermit and Miss Piggy in a heart that says, kiss me, it's Christmas, Gonzo stringing Christmas lights in a wreath, and Animal doing his best little drummer boy impression. In the early 2000s, 
a company called Gift Co. put out a small line of Muppet ornaments, and I do mean small. They are tiny little ornaments. Here we have Miss Piggy and Kermit on candy canes. In 2006, Carlton Cards put out this set of miniature ornaments for Kermit and the Muppets 50th anniversary. The set features Gonzo coming out of a cake, as well as Miss Piggy and Kermit dressed up for the occasion. In 2007, Carlton Cards released another line of Muppet ornaments. Here we have a Miss Piggy ornament, again wearing a Santa outfit, and again with presents, only this time they're for Kermit. It says so right on the label. And an ornament of Fozzie depicting his delightful surprise at his latest Christmas gift, a rubber chicken. Next up is one of the more odd lines of Muppet Christmas ornaments. These are Muppet clay dough ornaments produced by Sherwood Brands in 2003. The line features Kermit, Fozzie, Animal, and Beaker as clay figures on top ornaments filled with candy. As you can see, they still have the original tags and the original candy, though I am not about to see what they taste like now. One of the most beloved lines of Muppet Christmas ornaments, and still to this day one of the most sought after, are the Christopher Radko blown glass ornaments from the mid-90s. And in this collection, we've picked up a few. As you can see, these were all still mint in the box. Here we have the Ba Humbug block featuring Statler and Waldorf, a block featuring Kermit and Miss Piggy, a Muppet totem pole featuring Fozzie, Gonzo, and Kermit, this one is entitled Christmas with Miss Piggy, which features Miss Piggy hugging a Christmas tree. And here we have a Waka Waka Christmas featuring Fozzie Bear as a Jack in the Box. In 2002, Kermit was the Grand Marshal of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. They had a large balloon in the parade itself, as well as another large balloon above the entrance promoting the plush frogtographer that you could buy in the stores. They also had a couple of ornaments, including this Kermit popping out of a Macy's shopping bag. While the ornaments you've seen so far are all pre-Disney Muppet Christmas ornaments, here's a post-Henson ornament. Here we have a rather rare and sought after ornament featuring a flocked Kermit sitting upon a star. These were sold exclusively at the Disney store in 2005. If there's one company though that's synonymous with the Muppets and Christmas, it's Hallmark. They've been producing Muppet ornaments since the 80s, and they are still producing ornaments with the Muppets today. Here we have 1983's Ice Skating Miss Piggy Ballerina Ornament. Hallmark produced a bunch of Muppet Christmas balls. This one is from 1987. It's a Muppet Christmas. It features Kermit, Miss Piggy, Rolf, Gonzo, Animal, and Fozzie all around the Christmas tree with the saying, Merry Christmas, everyone. I had this ornament as a kid, and I was looking forward to getting it mint in the box. And as you can see, it didn't quite why survive the trip? But what can you do? In 2008, Hallmark began their Muppet Show line of Muppet Christmas ornaments. And I call them the Muppet Show line because other than the Muppet Christmas Carol, Kermit and Robin, they really do not have anything to do with Christmas. They are not in any kind of Christmas attire and are mainly seen as their Muppet Show selves. The first one in that line was Statler and Waldorf, which has become one of the most sought after ornaments in the line. When these came out in 2008, I was a good little boy and did not open mine until Christmas. It turns out that was a big mistake because many of these had faulty voice boxes. Of course, I tried changing the batteries and tinkering with it, but could not fix it. I even went to a bunch of stores to try to replace it, but after Christmas, they were already sold out. These were extremely popular and I could never find one again. So in this collection, it was great to find one that worked. Yes, this one works. The ornament features original audio of Jim Henson and Richard Hunt performing Statler and Waldorf. And since many of these don't really work anymore, it's pretty rare to hear the audio. Would you like to hear it? Hey, you old fool! You slept through the show! Who's a fool? You watched it! <laughs> Have you ever thought there must be life after death? Every time I leave this theater! <laughs> and it is just incredible to hear them once again in ornament form while most things in this collection came mint in the box, for some reason, this ornament did not. However, I have my original box from my other one that doesn't work. So this one will have a new life inside its minty fresh box in the museum. Okay, we are almost done. We have one more item to show you. Here we have a Kurt Adler Kermit Nutcracker. Now you may be saying to yourself, I saw you buy one of these 
in a video with Cinema Sickness, and you would be right. That one was loose and did not come mint in its box. And when I saw this as part of the collection, of course, I had to get one mint factory sealed in the box. This is not the Muppet Stuff Museum without something being as minty fresh as it possibly can be. So when I saw this in the collection, I had to have it as well. So this is a Kurt Adler Kermit with a sled nutcracker from the early 90s. And we lied. There is still one more thing we wanted to show you. And while not a part of the Kentucky collection itself, it's been in front of your face the entire time. It's this Kermit t-shirt. And I want to thank my friend Aaron, who got this for me as a early birthday present. So thanks, Aaron. This is fantastic. Look, it's Kermit thinking about Christmas. How can you go wrong? That's going to do it for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite thing you saw in this video. Please be sure to follow us on all our social media channels. Be sure to watch our next installment as we take a look at even more amazing items from the Kentucky Collection. And we'll see you next time from the Muppet Stuff Museum. Aretha Franklin.